So if you read the title, this will be about flipping. Uh, this tutorial is aimed a bit more at immediate, I guess. So I'm just going to assume you know what <laughs> you know what easing is a little bit. So the center of gravity is where I guess you could say the mass appears to be focused around. It's usually located around the pelvis of the stick figure when it's in this pose, but it can change. Like this guy here, <laughs> he's shaped in such a way that the center of mass isn't even on like his figure. It's just floating around in space. In any jump, the center of gravity follows a parabola shape. Now the center of gravity will travel horizontally at the same velocity it left the ground with, but the y velocity, it's going to accelerate downwards all the time. Now what I mean by accelerating downwards is that the velocity it goes up with is always going to decrease, like frame to frame. For our flip to look better, we can apply Newton's third law. This is for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. Here's something I want you to try. So hold your arm out straight and to your side, and then move it forward really suddenly. Do you notice how your shoulder moves back in reaction to this? Now as well as demonstrating Newton's third law, it also proves that there's no move leg up muscle. There's only expand and contract. This is something I want to incorporate into our flip. So we can see this sit-up, I guess, this guy's doing. And we can recognize that even though he's trying just to bring his chest up, his legs raise as well. Now, if you didn't want the legs in the chest to have the same weight, then you wouldn't have the move to save in distance. The thing about heavy objects is that they're harder to accelerate and decelerate. The speed of a rotation changes depending on how close the mass is focused to its center. Now if we take these properties from part 1 and part 2 and put them into the flip, we can see that, you know, he jumps, he tucks, but as he tucks, his back slows down as the legs are brought up. And then they speed up again once the legs have stopped, you know, accelerating. The only way for a stick figure to stop its center of mass going in that parabola shape is for an outside force to come in contact with it somehow. Say, for the floor to push on the feet when it lands. But make no mistake, the still stick figure still wants to go in that parabola shape. It's the feet's job, when it contacts, to push up and out and make sure it doesn't face plant. Important note, when a force, when a new force is introduced, it only adds to what the stick figure is experiencing. It doesn't replace it. 